What's going on guys, Guided by Jesus here bringing you another Fortnite video. I hope you all are doing well today. For today's video, I want to do something a bit different. I do have a lot of tips that I want to share with you guys, but I don't want to go ahead and just put 10 of them or 5, 8 of them in one single video. I want to try something different. I want to be able to share with you guys a bunch of different examples um, so that you guys can fully grasp one tip at a time. So today we're going to be talking about exploiting third person view and being able to look around the corners to see exactly where your opponent is before you even expose yourself. So you're going to put yourself at a huge advantage where you're going to know where your opponent is and by the time you move out of cover, you already know where to aim, where to shoot, um, you know, instead of moving out of cover and then still having to look for your enemy. The video that you see right now, um, this one was my first ever solo game. So I wasn't confident, I wasn't secure, I was still learning a lot of the game. But even still guys, I was able to outplay this guy right here that to me, at, at the moment I started playing this game, everyone that had this skeleton skin or this skeleton costume was really good at the game. And as you guys can see, um, he knew where I was as well. So he's not just a beginner. I'm at 4 HP guys. So watch how I'm gonna use this to my advantage. I'm using it uh, at behind cover here so I know exactly where the opponent is and I know when he's going to start uh, pushing me or not. So I know when I have to stop um, trying to heal up. And so now my um, strategy here is to peek in and out, use third person view here to know exactly where my opponent is. He moved into an open area. So he has absolutely no cover. He had no way whatsoever of using third person view to his advantage. Now here I'm moving up toward this house and I know there could be someone, you know, anywhere in here. So I somewhat use third person view to see if there could be someone behind that corner. And lucky for me, um, for using that, um, there was someone around that corner. So I was able to kill him. Um, maybe if I hadn't done that, I wouldn't have been able to kill him. On this uh, example here, guys, I actually used third person view to see exactly where the opponents were. My teammate had called it out that we had opponents south of us. So instead of just exposing myself and trying to look around for where they were, I um, used third person view to first see exactly where they were, how many of them were there, etc and then go ahead and you know engage here i'm going to kill this guy he has a teammate up here inside the depot so look i stay in cover use third person view to see exactly what he's gonna do um he probably thinks that i went to flank around or something because he then um gets tired of waiting for me or thinking that i'm gonna pop out and so he tries to go recover his teammate and i take advantage of that Right here, you guys are going to see that I'm going to get three kills back to back using this method, using this tactic, guys. And um, the good thing about this, too, is after uh, some time, you're going to get so good at this and you're going to get so experienced that you're going to know exactly when to engage and when not to engage. So, for example, here, I'm using third person view. This guy has no clue. He's not looking at me. So I know I can engage, right? I get him down. Now, there's going to be another teammate of his that's going to come um, and because he knows that I just killed his team, so he has an idea where I am. So check this out. He's looking right at this door because he heard my footsteps. When I noticed that he stopped looking at the door, I know it's my moment to move in and take the, and kill him. So watch. I'm going to hear footsteps. I know exactly this guy's behind the house. So look, I'm using third person view here. He looked at me. The moment I saw he looked away, that's when I engaged. Unlucky for me, he had a rocket and he was able to react fast enough and get that kill. But I still killed him, guys. Maybe a split second difference there would have allowed me to get the triple kill and still survive. Or maybe if he didn't have a rocket in his hands. Look at this play, guys. This guy is pushing, uh, flanking us. He killed my teammate. And because I used third person view so effectively here, I was able to, you know, sneak up behind him and get the kill without him even putting a single shot on me. So now in this example, guys, I used third person view here 
and as you guys can see it is effective for close range or for long range guys so i'm able to get that sniper kill without even exposing me um on that situation the guy was far away and he wasn't even looking at me but what if he was looking at me you know here i kill this guy i used third person view he was coming into the house he had no idea where i was but i had full understanding of where he was due to using the third person view tactic and now i hear footsteps i know there's someone coming around the house they're gonna come in through the back door watch this i see his feet here and this guy needs to watch this tutorial because he clearly does not know how to use third person view look he just moves back and he did not he gave away his uh advantage of having third person view where he went right there he couldn't see us but then i was able to start using third person view access exactly where he was before i even exposed myself right here this is another video uh, another clip of when i first started playing the game as you guys can see i made the mistake of not reloading my pistol so i only had two bullets this put me in a huge disadvantage but the fact that i was able to play out the third person view tactic so well i was still able to get the double kill guys <clears throat> so yeah guys i really hope that this video helped you guys um, practice this it's really useful you're gonna see how much your gameplay is gonna improve it puts you at a huge advantage guys so i really hope it helps you guys i hope you guys were able to understand the fact that i showed a variety of different videos i hope it's a lot easier for you guys to understand what exactly i'm talking about and um yeah thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed it please go ahead and hit the like button leave your comments guys please your comments are really crucial i really look forward to reading and res uh, responding to all of your comments guys let me know if you like this new format of sharing the tips and if you did i'll go ahead and put out other videos with the same kind of format guys are you guys currently enjoying Fortnite and the Christmas update? Let me know. Also, guys, please follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Please, um, guys, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for more Fortnite content, guys. Take care.